Hello and hi everyone. Today we're going to learn nuclear energy in 15 minutes with me, Teacher Umi. On today's lesson, we're going to learn an important subtopic in this chapter 6, which um involving calculation, which is to describe uh, the famous Einstein equation, which is E equal to mc squared and describe the relation between energy release during nuclear reaction and mass defect. Our learning roadmap will start with on how to change AMU unit to kilogram, which is SI unit of mass. Next, we will learn on to understand the Einstein equation. And lastly, we will do some problem solving um, regarding a nuclear reaction question. Now, let's start our lesson on how to change AMU unit into kilogram. So, AMU is atomic mass unit. So, why we are going to change to kilogram unit because kilogram is the SI unit of mass. Now let's take a look on how to change AMU to kilogram. So atomic mass unit is used to describe the weight of every element in predictable. So we use carbon 12 as the reference to, to know the weight of every element. Why carbon 12 is being used? Because carbon 12 is the most common element. We can find every um, single object have carbon element in it. Now, we're going to calculate 1 AMU is equal to how many kilogram of weight, right? So now we have, if we have 1 mole of carbon, so how many kilogram of weight? Um, that we have. So we know that one mole of carbon 12 is equal to, to 6.02 times 10 to, to the power of 23 atoms of carbon 12. So this 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 is the Avogadro number. So for one mole of carbon 12, so let's say it have 12 gram of carbon 12. So this 12 gram of carbon 12 have 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms of carbon 12. But before that, I want to know one atom of carbon 12 is equal to how many kilograms so therefore from this value i would know the one atomic mass unit would equal to how many kilograms but first we must solve this problem first before we going to find out to our objective here by referring to carbon 12, we already know this information here. So carbon 12 have 6 proton and 6 neutron, which is they have 12 atomic number. So what we're going to found, find out here is for one atomic number, Of carbon 12 is equal to how many kilogram?
So let's start calculate for 1 AMU. So we already know 0.012 kilogram of carbon 12 is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms of carbon 12. So to find for one atom of carbon 12, sorry, to find one atom for carbon 12, we need to divide 0 0.012 kilogram. We need to divide by its avocado number. So we will get 1.99 times 10 to the power of negative 23 kilogram. However, this value is represented for one atom of carbon 12. Right now, I'm going to find out for one atomic mass unit of carbon 12 is equal to how many kilograms. Therefore, I need to divide it 1.99 times 10 to the power of negative 23 kilogram, I need to divide it by 12. Why? Because carbon, this carbon have 12 atomic number. So I will get 1.66 times 10, negative 27 kilogram. Therefore, we understand that 1 amu equal to 1.66 times 10 to the power of negative 27. Now, we're going to go to our next road map, which is to understand E equal to mc squared, which is the famous Einstein equation. E equal to mc squared. So, what is E represent of? E is the total energy released and the unit for this energy is in Joule. So, M here is represent the mass defect, which is the also can be understood by this meaning, which is the loss of mass. And the unit should be in kilogram. While C here represents speed of light, which the value, the quantitative value is 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. So, how we will use this equation to describe the relation of nuclear reaction and mass defect? So, we will understand by using this process. Now, we already know that every process has the initial mass and also the final mass. In E equal to mc squared, the mass defect here is mass defect equal to initial mass minus by the final mass. From this nuclear fission reaction, we know that we have 0 0.18606 AMU of mass defect. However, this mass defect is in AMU. So we need to change AMU unit to the SI unit of mass, which is kilogram. So now, we need to calculate by using one, 0 0.186. 06 AMU time 1.66 times 0 negative 27 kilo and then we will get the mass in kilogram after that we will use this mass of defect to put in the equation of E equal to mc squared. 
So our mass will equal to the total energy released in joule unit. So the step to calculate the en total energy release is the first step is by finding the mass defect and make sure it and make sure the mass defect is changed to kilogram unit and then substitute the information into the Einstein equation and ensure your answer is in Joule unit. Now let's apply the step that we already know to calculate the total energy release. So we already know that we are going to use this uh, nuclear fission example. So the first step is find the mass defect and then change the mass defect in the SI unit of mass. Next, substitute it into the Einstein equation. And after that, we will get the answer in Joule unit. So, from this nuclear fission process, we know that 2.779 times 10 to the power of negative 11 Joule of nuclear energy is being released. Now, let's try to solve a few related problems, shall we? Question 1. So, this question says that there are differences between masses of reactants and product in nuclear reaction, which is 1.2 times 10 negative 29 kg. And... What this question is asked is the how much the energy is being released. So let's calculate the energy released. From the question, we know that mass divided is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the power of negative 29 kilogram. So as the first step says, we need to find the mass defect. Second step, we must change the mass defect if it's in the AMU unit. We must change to kilogram. And both steps have done. And we need to substitute it in P equal to mc squared. So we have 1.2 times 10 negative 29. Kilo, kilogram time by the uh, speed of light which is 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8 square therefore we will get the answer in joule which is 1.08 times 10 to the power of negative 12 joule We already come to the end of our lesson. Let's recap what we have learned. The first one, we already learned on how to change AMU unit to kilogram by using carbon-12 as reference. Next, we already understand the relationship between total energy release and the mass defect, where when the mass defect is increased, the total energy release will be increase. Last one, we did some problem solving regarding the nuclear reaction question. So that's all from me today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson and thank you for listening everyone. Bye!